Now what I'd like to do is show you how we can make a hot tortilla soup in a matter of 90 seconds in this jar. First thing I, I want to show you is we have a lot of raw vegetables. I've got some carrots, some tomatoes, cilantro. This particular recipe calls for three sprigs of cilantro. I've got some uh, onions, some sweet Vidalia onions, very delicious. And I'm using some chicken, se uh, chicken bouillon along with some taco seasoning and garlic powder. Now, you can make this hot tortilla soup with cold water if you want. It'll take two cycles or three minutes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use about 12 to 14 ounces of warm water. Now, if you want, you can use hot boiling water, but I would suggest that you don't because if you use hot boiling water, you'll cook out all the live enzymes. All right, now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put it back on here and show you once again how easy this one-touch technology is. If I wanted to make the whole juice, which I just did, I hit the whole juice button. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the soup button because that's what I want to make is a soup. Okay, now what is making this soup hot is the natural speed and friction of the blade. This blade is traveling at 28,000 RPM, over 285 miles an hour. Why is that significant? Because this soup is going to be considerably healthier for you than the stuff you buy at the store. The stuff you buy at the store in the can, it has MSG, preservatives, and all sorts of fillers that your body shouldn't take. What you have in here is the raw vegetables that your doctor tells you you should eat more of and that your body is craving. All right, that was 90 seconds in this jar with the natural speed and friction of the blade. Watch this. It's cooked. Now, at home, when I make this soup or when my wife makes this soup, we like the creamy soup, but we also look for leftovers because we want to make our soup a little more chunky. So what we do is we look for leftovers, chicken, rice, beef, beans, you know, whatever we might have. What I'm going to do for the sake of the demonstration is use a little bit of these tortilla chips, and I'll show you how easy it is to chunk up your soup very, very simply. Just put them in. And then all you have to do is hit the pulse key once, twice, and for good measure, a third time. And you've got a nice, hot, chunky salsa soup in a matter of less than two minutes.